what is up guys welcome back to resident evil 2 i say it every time but this game is really fun uh we're just gonna go right into it that now is me okay we got concept art police station that's really cool um again we're gonna hit load game because I mean, it's that slight difference, man. It's that slight difference. See, with this one, it was in the shower room, and this one was in the main hall. That difference. But before we do uh, go right into it, it's only at 10%, do subscribe down below and hit that notification icon to keep up with my uh, videos. I do upload, or I'm trying to upload five days a week, and if I can't get that five days a week, I'll at least do three days a week. And also, I'm going to start... Uh, I don't know if I've started yet, but I'm going to start on the weekends, on Saturday, live streams on Twitch. So go check that out. I will have a link in the description. Alright, so uh, he's a little hurt here, but not too hurt. Okay, so we have a, yeah, we have one of these. So when he gets hit one more time, we can use that. I wish I actually had like a life bar. That'd be very, that'd be much better. But it's an older game. What can you do? Uh, yeah, it's not like they're gonna like, take the whole game and say, okay, he has a life bar now. Alright. So, I, I found out last time that it actually does show when the, the door is chained. All you have to do is look over it. So, this one just says it's locked. But this one out here says it's actually chained. So, I'm gonna go around and kind of look at the doors that say they're chained. And I guess we're gonna go there. There was actually another high um, gunpowder here in the east office, which I didn't even notice. And we have the lock thing for the safe. We have the lock code for the safe over here. So we'll do that too. All right. So I think the first floor is the only one that has it. Though I thought, I mean, I thought there was more, but I guess that's just me. There's probably like this one or something that was locked. Then again, I didn't even check, but whatever. All right. So what I want to do first is get to the safe. And then once we're there, get back out, go around, and check out to break this chain, get into the records, or not the records room, because this one has a club key, so most likely this door is going to be locked. But at least this room, and this door, I don't know what's up with it. It probably has like a stack of something over there, I don't know. But we're going to try to get the safe first, and then go around and do that. So, let's get right into it. Just do this, no, of course not. Okay, and I'm going to look at my phone real quick, and we're going to get this. Yeah, because imagine if I didn't take a picture of it, we're going to have to go back and forth looking at the page. So, this is better this way. So, left 9. I'm doing left, so hopefully it's... I, I, I think I have that up. It says left 9, but I don't know if it means like this. I effed up again. 15. Uh, 7. Nope. Okay, let's try uh, how it actually says. So 9. 15. 7. There you go. Ooh, we got a hip pouch. Very nice. Yes, that is perfect. Thank you. Okay, so next we're going to go down here. So we have to go around the whole hall. Hopefully there's no zombies. Get into the operations room and open this door that's chained. Of course, there's somebody right there. Was this not the room? No, that's the records room that needs that. That scared me, man. Where is this place? It's at the end of the hall, around the corner. No! God damn it, now I need to kill you. He's gonna get in, bruh. They're all gonna get in. 
Very nice. You guys, I'll let you guys in. Son of a bitch. God damn it, now I need to do this to you too. Okay, let's take this out of her neck. It broke. It, I think it broke. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore you. I'm going to this room. Just shut up. Alright. There's a nice little herb here. Uh, now there's a flashbang. Some planks. This door is most likely closed. Mm, you need the heart's key, so... So you can get into this room two ways. That's probably like divided or something. Who knows? And then there's this room, which we can now unlock. So there wasn't much in here, huh? Other than a way to get there quicker, there's not much there. So I'm gonna examine where the hell we can go next. Okay, let's store this. Oh, is that all we needed it for? Well, damn. Okay, cool. We're gonna put this flashbang away. Can we combine this with? No, we can't do that. Okay, yeah, because I remember in a uh, in Resident Evil Five, you can like combine the bullets with the gun. Or Resident Evil Four, I don't remember which one it was. Yeah, so you can like pause and then like combine it without having to like reload. It was pretty cool. Right. I think it was Resident Evil 5 because when you um cuz you didn't necessarily pause when you were trying to switch things up. When you were in this menu, you weren't necessarily paused. So like you can reload the weapon because it takes it's kind of the same, I guess. Um, right. So we can actually get rid of this now. It says that it's done. That's all we needed it for. Imagine we just, like, throw out a key item. Like, let's say if we could just, like... I don't know. Can we do that? Like, take out... No, we can't even discard it. Yeah, because imagine that, like... <laughs> you just lose the game. It's just like, oh, well, game over. You discarded a key item. <laughs> That'd be horrible. All right, so I'm gonna uh, check what where the hell we can go real quick. Okay, so I think the last place we can go is over here to the clock tower. Um, I'm not sure if this door is open, because we can go to the library and through here. But I don't think it's open, so I think we're going to have to take the long, the long way. Which means we have to go from here. Uh, let me see. Yeah, we have to go all the way in here, up these steps. Which brings us here, then now up the steps again, and then go through here, go all around, go in here, and up to the main hall, third floor, and then we could go into the east storage room, balcony, and all that stuff. 
Mm hmm I think that's what's next. So we're gonna go ahead and make our way mm, up here. If anything weird happens along the way, I'll guess I'll show you or not. Maybe let's see. It seems like kind of a long journey. So even though I'm not, I don't really get hurt that much. Let me just do this real quick, so I could just have an extra one. And put this, oh, whoa, whoa, no. I meant to do that. Examine. Ho, ho. That is musty crusty. I don't know. All right, let's equip this real quick and uh, put one of those. Beautiful. Okay, so we're up on the third floor. Uh, there's this guy here. We're gonna run past them. Okay, is there something in here? This is another locked thing. All right. Yeah, I got scared last time I saw that there, and I was like, oh, there's something here. All right. <laughs> Goodness. Okay, we're gonna go through here. Last time we came in, we saw something weird, so I'm... Oh, we have no... Wow. We have three shots left. We should have probably uh, got some more... And that's why sometimes juking is very necessary. Alright. Okay, so yeah, this door was open, so we could have um, gone through up here and then uh, go upstairs. Sorry, yeah, go upstairs. Yeah, we could have done that, but whatever. Well, well, damn. But um, yeah, it's open. We already came here. There wasn't much here except for this explosive... Uh, Yeah, this thing. I don't know what we needed for it. I don't know what that is. It looks like it looks like it has like a, like a little rectangle kind of thing. What's in there anyway? It looks like that thing we need or something. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like there's a key item in there. But we need to go further down here which we can't so we can't oh but there's uh to any survivors consider this a gift to anyone still unfortunate to be alive let's go back keep your eyes peeled for these creepy f's that look like we're we're skinned alive liquors we call them they're blind as bats but they hearing more than makes up for it so long as you don't run around like a total idiot, guns are blazing, you should be able to slip right through them, probably. Oh, so that's pretty cool. I didn't even notice that. Either way, make make like my grandma and creep around as slow as you can possible. Okay, yeah. Anyway, not that I want to go, but duty calls. That's, and I've got a friend to avenge. Okay. Alright, so we came up here just for that tip. Again, I'm going to check where the hell we can go next. My question is, why can't we just, like, jump over that gap? That gap is very jumpable. But whatever. Oh, wait, this is a safe place? I don't think so. Not at all. But tell me we can't jump this little gap here. Retarded. Is there anything in here that I might want to take? There's some handgun ammo. We definitely need that. That creeped me out. I don't know what I just heard, but I think I just heard something in my house. What does this bring us? To this nice little door here. So as for the third floor, we need to get up to the third floor so we can get into the other place. 
but I'm just like I'm flap I don't I don't know where to go honestly this is where it starts to get a little hard I I honestly don't know where to go <clears throat> okay I'm gonna look over everything one more time oh goodness so again um, I'm gonna pause it while I look for something and uh, I'll skip um, I'm gonna go here in the east office real quick um, I'm gonna go in here in the east office real quick to get these two stuff and look around real quick but um, I think I might just skip it and say what I got after okay so I'm back here with uh, this guy who doesn't like to quit Okay, right here there's some ammo for my gun okay there's a window there which I should click on real quick so I could know that there's a window here in my map okay I'm gonna go into this room real quick to get the gunpowder oh look at it right here and now it shows that this room is blue which means there's nothing else to look for in here you know what else I want to check real quick I want to check What's this? And why can't it let me go past that? It's probably just something broken there or something. And also why it shows that this is red. Like I'm still exploring it or something. What's there to explore? That's my question. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna check that place too also. Uh, again, I might just skip it. Okay, and I'm gonna keep this advice too. That they're blind and they can't see me. Okay, it looks like there's something here. I guess because, oh wait, there's handgun ammo. That was it. There was handgun ammo. Well, damn. Okay, I'm back. We didn't really get much here. Uh, the hallway's now blue, but... I don't... The hallway is not blue, but I don't really know... Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's going on here. I really don't know where to go next. Like, I went over there because I'm thinking, okay, it shows that it's unexplored. Maybe there's something there that I haven't seen. This one's obviously unexplored because it's an electrical gadget. This one's unexplored because I haven't looked at a lot of stuff there. Okay. The fire escape's unexplored because probably I didn't get that handgun ammo. The waiting room's unexplored because of the safe. This is unexplored because of the crank. The shower room and this whole place. I don't know why it's unexplored. It's probably because of this handgun ammo. And this one's probably because of the shotgun show. They're probably connected. The star's office, well, the PC. I'm just trying to count up why, what. This one's the explosives. This is the dial. Like, what else is there? What am I missing? All I have here that's a good uh, key item is the roll of film battery. I don't, I don't see where that could possibly go. A spare part to something. It could be that part for the explosive. I don't know. The scepter, which I have no idea where it goes, and the battery. Let's make something with this. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get this explosive barricade, I guess. Because it looks like maybe that could be the piece that goes to it. Uh, and, um... As for the battery, it could... Go to... This locked door here, but I, I don't know, or it could go to the electric gadget or whatever. No, guys, I'm gonna end it here. I really don't know what I I don't know what to do next. I'm puzzled to get it. Um, 
I'm going to end it here, guys. Sub right down below. I guess this is going to be a slightly shorter episode. I only have, like, 20 minutes on there, but I don't... It's probably a little long, because I've been pausing and starting it. I don't know. Um, but, like I said, I'm going to end it here, guys. Sub right down below and hit that notification icon to keep up with my videos. I am going to be uploading every day, uh, every part of the day of the week, except for weekends, of course. So, five days a week. Um, if I can't do five days again, I'll try to do three. Well, I'll, I'll do three. If I, I'll try to do five, but I can't. I'll do three. Comment down below if you have any videos, ideas for the future, and any uh, video games you guys like to, me to play. And also, smash that like button to show your appreciation for the channel and for Resident Evil 2. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Peace.